Are you finding that you're feeling anxious and irritable and not sure what to do about it? Your partner is annoying you and you're like, do we need to break up? Like, this is crazy. Some days I really like you and other days, like, I don't want you near me. Folks, this could be a cortisol issue, but it could also be a progesterone issue. Let me tell you why. When we are stressed out for long periods of time, we end up stealing the precursors that we have for making progesterone. So what can you do? Well, progesterone naturally is produced in the body, but you can supplement with it. You can use herbs such as Vitex, which is known as chaseberry. You can also supplement with evening primrose oil or you can use bioidentical progesterone creams. Now we have all these options, but you don't wanna be doing this just willy-nilly. You wanna know what the heck is truly going on in your body. The best time to test for progesterone is the second half of your cycle if you're still getting a period. If you're not, you can test whenever. The other big thing to consider is making sure that you do a combination of progesterone and cortisol testing. You wanna know those two because it doesn't give you the full picture if you're just looking at progesterone. So look at cortisol, see what's going on. You're gonna spit in some tubes using saliva testing before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner, before bed. And this is gonna tell you a lot about what is going on in your body in terms of how well you're managing stress. But if that cortisol levels are super high, or even if they're low and you're just kind of puttering out some cortisol, you might be mustering up just enough energy to steal the precursors that you would be making instead to use to make progesterone. So what are some main things you can do to look at both of these levels? Well, in the blood, you can look at progesterone. You can also look at pregnenolone, which is a precursor to making progesterone. You can also look at DHEA levels in the blood or saliva to help you to determine what is going on with your adrenal glands. Do you have enough reserves to make hormones. Now, saliva versus blood in terms of DHEA, you want to look at DHEAS, so DHEA sulfate. Now, one versus the other, both can give you an accurate response as to are you making too much DHEA, meaning your body is producing way too much of the stress hormone and your body's in stuck in like a fight or flight mode, or if you're not producing enough, now we're looking at more of a, is the body fatigued? Have you had too much stress? Have you taxed the adrenal glands too much over time? So it gives you a really good sense of maybe there is quite an imbalance in the body between the progesterone, the cortisol levels, and even the precursor DHEA. And so more comprehensive testing can actually be quite beneficial in this case. I've given you the snippets in terms of progesterone and cortisol, but overall, keep in mind that the hormones work in synergy. They work together and they are part of a system of checks and balances. So looking at saliva cortisol is one way, but also adding that on to a dried urine test such as ZRT lab or Dutch test, so the Dutch test, can also be very beneficial to give you the whole picture. If you don't have the funds to do those specialty tests, then looking at your blood levels of progesterone in your second half of your cycle, ideally somewhere between days 19 and 26, or at least a week and a half after you ovulate, if you have a little bit longer or a little bit shorter of a cycle, depending on how things look for you. So you can use either blood, saliva, or dried urine to help you determine what is causing this anger, what is going on. And keep in mind that the two main players are progesterone and cortisol, but you might have some ups and downs with cord or not cortisol, estrogens causing trouble here too. But the idea is test, don't guess when it comes to becoming your own best doctor. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. If you're looking for more resources, I've got plenty of YouTube videos that help you in this case, but also you can head over to drjkrausnd.com for more information or check out my podcast, The Health Fix Podcast, where I will be putting out more information on perimenopause and menopause problems to help you become your own best doctor during this transition.